guys, it's Lee, your independent sense consultant. Welcome back to my channel and to this most exciting video. I feel like Christmas has come early. So here I have a friend mail from Canada and it was a friend swap so I sent Naomi a few bits and she sent me some stuff over, uh, mainly sensey stuff that we can't get over here. Though I did send her some of this packing tape. Um, so this packing tape actually went from Wales to Canada and back because she used it to seal my box. So I did actually send a photo to the people that I bought it off. And said this has to be the most well-traveled tape you've ever sold. So they thought it was quite funny and I'm just going to break into this so I do know one or two things that's in here because I asked for a couple of specific things though can't apart from one thing I can't actually remember what it was that I asked for and this is very well packaged because I can't actually get into it but bear with me and let's ah, there we go so. uh, it's worse than Christmas because at least Christmas you, you just tear things open so now I could just tear this box there we go so let, oh, oh no, that's okay. I thought I was blocking the camera. Oh wow. So let me move that out of the way. So she's packed it absolutely beautifully. Probably nicer than I packed hers. Though I did actually wrap um, her bars in plastic luckily in like plastic bags and she said that one or two of them had melted so this really I cannot convey how excited I am and um, yeah so we have a Bath and Body Works Black Cherry Merlot antibacterial hand gel so most most people will know that Bath and Body Works in the UK doesn't exist. You can get some of the stuff on eBay, but it's like stupid prices. I think these are about five or six pounds at the cheapest. It's absolutely insane. So it's really, really excited to get that, and that was a complete surprise. Like this, these are all wrapped so well that it really is like Christmas. Oh, so we've got from Sensationals. This is juicy, very berry, and oh so sweet. Yeah, these have melted a bit by the look of it. Oh, that. Oh, that's really nice. It reminds me of something I've smelt before, but I can't think if it's a product or like sweet. That is lovely. <coughs> then what else do we have? Oops. We have a packet of Better Homes and Gardens Crisp Fall Leaves and a packet of Bet Homes and Gardens Wild Berries and Cheesecake. So Sensationals I don't think I've ever seen in the UK. Bet Homes and Gardens I know we don't have, or at least I've never seen them. Ooh, that's nice. That, this. This 
apple and what looks like possibly oh oh okay so probably should have put my glasses on and my contact lenses in because I was thinking this is nice what's in it and it's actually written on the front so this is apple leaves balsam berry vanilla spice and ambered wood and it's that balsam and the amber that I really get that is that's really nice then the wild berries and cheesecake is blueberry blackberry strawberry sugar lemon zest and cheesecake so let's have a whiff I get more of the cheesecake note smelling this. It's that's different, that's unusual. I haven't smelled anything like this. That's nice. Oh, it's Walmart. Wonder, wonder if I don't. Is Asda in the UK as part of the Walmart family? So I'm one, and I don't go into. <clears throat> I don't tend to shop in Asda. I'm wondering if they would sell these. I'm not sure. I'll have, I'll have to have a look. <clears throat> then let's have a look. What's next? What's next? Ooh. 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 There's another. There's another um, antibacterial hand gel. So this is Vanilla Bean Noel. So um, imagine that this, there's no notes, but I imagine this is going to be like vanilla and pine maybe? Or maybe not. Ooh, yeah, it's vanilla, but almost like, I, I think it smells like slightly minty. That's lovely. So then, what's in this one? So, ooh, so we have, ooh, okay. So we have Bed Homes and Gardens, Cranberry and Mandarin Splash. So this is Mandarin, Tangerine, Lemon, Cranberry and Red Currant. Ooh, that's fresh and fruity. That's, how would, I don't even know how I would describe this. I think, oops. Reminds me a bit of, is it Lilt? Might be. It smells to me a bit like Lilt crossed with Jolly Rancher hard candies. Almost like the fruit polos. Mmm, that's really nice. Then we have a mountain man, oh, mountain man from Sensationals, and really like sage green wax. Is this scent notes? No. It's wood fragrance family, which is called I Love Woods E. So let's have a look. Ooh, ooh, that's, ooh, I like that. Mmm, so far, Gild and Good. That's really nice. Then we, what else do we have? What else do we have? We have, ah, no, she did say to me about sending me some wax from Soda Pop Shop, or called soda pop shop so this is lemon lime soda pop blended with sugary strawberry soda and fizzy orange soda and this just looks insane this looks oh okay so the top of it is this like orange and ready pink with glittery bits but underneath is green oh that's really nice it's like all kinds of fruit. Oh my God. 
I've actually cleaned out is it two, maybe three of my warmers. The only thing is I don't, I won't actually know which ones to start first, which ones to try first, I should say. <coughs> and then we are on to the Scentsy Wax, which these are the ones that I did ask for. Um, but yeah, I can't remember what it was asked for. So we have an almond croissant. So this is actually really cool because in the UK most of our bars are sealed, whereas these aren't because they don't generally need to seal them, just chipping them within the same country. Ooh. Oh my god, that's good. That is so so good. Almond croissant, I don't know if we've ever had it in the UK. I know we certainly don't have it at the moment. I started buying Scentsy in December last year, so a year ago. <clears throat> this wasn't available then and it wasn't hasn't been available since I became a consultant in February. So yeah, oh my god, this is so good. The funny thing is, I do watch loads of YouTube videos from other people like Melissa Johnson, Lisa Roberry, um, Patricia Gates, um, Karen Wells from Australia and I hear them talk about all these different waxes because sometimes Region 1 and Region 3 have ones that we don't have in Region 2 and to actually get to smell some of them it's just it really is like Christmas. I really can't convey how exciting this is. Oh, that's really nice. <clears throat> and then another one is Weathered Leather. <clears throat> so this is another one that I've heard a lot of good things about. We did have Sheer Leather over here, which I don't know if it's going to be anything similar, but we don't have Sheer Leather over here anymore. So I am looking forward to trying this one. Ooh, no. This is nothing like the sheer leather. Nothing at all. Oh, oh my God. This is, no, it's nothing like the sheer leather in any way, shape or form, apart from the word leather in the title. This is, really rich like real old leather like leather shoes leather belt whereas sheer leather was more of a almost a masculine well a cologne type scent but this is so good oh that's so so good then <clears throat> What else do we have? Ah, but I, I'm running out of room to stick all the paper at the moment. <clears throat> so we don't have many pumpkin scents in the UK. In fact, the only one I've known us have was Fairy Tale Pumpkin, which was October's scent of the month this year. I think it was October. And that was nice. But this is pumpkin chai. So I love pumpkin scents and I love chai. So mm, I just noticing the packaging. So this has got mugs and cute stuff. The almond croissant has got like little pictures of croissants on it. And the weathered leather has almost like stitched leather on it. That's one thing that Scenti does do really well is the design of the packaging. So let's have a sniff. Ooh. This reminds me of something. But I'm not sure what it is. I want to say it's almost like cinnamon and clove 
mixed with vanilla bean buttercream, maybe? That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from it. But not as... You would probably have to mix like one cube of cinnamon and clove to like three or four cubes of vanilla bean buttercream because it's not... There's definitely clove and cinnamon in it. That's why I smell. Um, and definitely, I would say vanilla, pumpkin, that's, that's so good. Then we have another one that I'm sure I've seen Karen in Region 3 talk about as well as all the people in Region 1, which is My Hero. So the closest I think we had this year was we had... Wasn't my hero, mystery man. So there's not many that we get that you kind of makes you think of men or masculine scent. So this one has shooting stars on it. So this smells like ooh, this is definitely a male scent. Obviously. It's no law against women warming it. But to me, this is definitely a masculine scent. But, um, it reminds me slightly of... Oh, was it... I want to say Blue Water Bay. It wasn't. Driftwood Bay. Which reminded me of Davidoff's Cool Water. This reminds me slightly of that. But a bit heavier. Definitely cloney. Really, really nice. And then I have two bars of Scary Good, which again, this, oh, this was, I think this was their October scent of the month. I think we had Fairy Tale Pumpkin, they had Scary Good in Region 1. So this has jack o' lanterns all over it. <clears throat> so let's give it a sniff. Oh, oh my god. Oh yes. This. This is so, so good. So good. Oh. This. I think. I would be tempted to try mixing these two together because they are different, but they have that same, like, pumpkin-y, vanilla -y. But I would definitely only do half a cube to half a cube, just because I don't want to waste either of any of them. Oh, they are so good. And then, the pièce de, de résistance is something that we do not get in region one uh region two at all and i kind of understand why and i do get the reason why american canada get this product and we don't and it is like the christmas extravaganza and I just cannot convey just how excited I am by this. It's a brick! So a brick in Scentsyland is equivalent to, I think, about eight. Right? I mean, like, just look at the size. Look at the size difference. I mean, it's just totally insane. Just absolutely mind-blowing the size difference like we're talking 74 grams so 2.6 ounces compared to 424 grams which is 15 ounces which is almost a whole pound I mean there's 16 ounces to a pound this is 15 ounces it's just like totally and utterly insane I mean look at it it's like 
as big as my head. I mean, seriously. And this, so this is in spiced eggnog. We didn't have spiced eggnog as part of our, I think this was the Home for the Holidays collection. We had, I think it was, which one did, we had four the same and then region one had spiced eggnog <clears throat> and I think we had <sighs> citrus, um, oh, citrus pear cider, I think that was the one we had. So I'm just so excited to smell this and have a breath. I mean, it's just totally insane. So, I think, I think Brits are exclusive to Scentsy Club in America. And one of, I'm putting off smelling this just because it, once I smell it, it's, that's it. My little friend swap haul is done. <coughs> so, one of the reasons apparently that they get Brits whereas we only get these is because a lot of US homes and Canada Canadian homes are open concept so very often they will have like virtually no doors downstairs so if they were warming bars they could possibly go through half a bar um, or a whole bar just within like the downstairs because they need so much fragrance to fragrance the homes Whereas we don't, so you no. Know, for most people over here, this would last six, twelve, eighteen months, maybe. So, yes. And I can't wait to smell it. Cannot wait to smell it. I'm going in. Oh, oh my god, that's so good. Oh, that's like warm vanilla spice I'm getting a boozy note which I'm assuming would be the brandy in the eggnog oh that is just so I I, I mean I'm, I'm just going to have to do a comparison out of the pack just because it's totally totally insane. I mean, so here's a bar. Let me get my muscle on. And here's a brick. I mean, it's just totally, I mean, look at it. I mean, it's just totally insane. There's just no other word for it. It's absolutely mental. It really is. So, <clears throat> part of me thought maybe I should keep it for Christmas and open it Christmas Day but then Christmas Day I will be at my friends so I won't be at home so I wouldn't have the opportunity to share my excitement at opening it with you and my excitement of smelling the new scents and Naomi, if you're watching this, thank you so, 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 so much. Especially for like the little unexpected extras like this. Um, there was also a card of her, which I will open later on. And <clears throat> yes, I'm, I'm just so excited. So I have actually got nothing in that warmer day. I it's one of the ones I cleaned out earlier. So I now need to decide which to put in there. Oh, I might, because I'm kind of wrapping up in oh, this Hades. Say hello, say hello. There you go. So as I'm kind of wrapping up in here for this evening, I might not put anything in there tonight and just try and decide what to put in it in the morning. I'm thinking I might go with the spice eggnog, since it's like midweek, and I just have so much, so much of it. It's just insane. I love it. 
So thanks for joining me on this very excited evening and for sticking with me through my sighted ramblings. So yes, that that's it. I'm going to um, enjoy the rest of my evening and I hope you do too. So until next time, take care, stay safe and happy warmings. See you soon. Thank you.